Hello, good morning. Welcome to Fountain FX on Monday the 10th of November 2014. This is the aftermath of all the jobs news, etc. and uh, Federal Reserve speeches and that from Friday last week. And uh, just to share some of the comments that came out on the web at the time when the news was posted. Um, literally two minutes in after the news and we've got jobs worse than expected but in unemployment rate decreased. Be careful here and wait for direction. Good bit of advice. Um, someone added to that saying two opposite direction news really confused yeah somebody else said amazing I got 140 pips from three pairs thanks for the awesome news that was probably a bit of luck more than anything else um, but the initial reaction was down okay so there was a, an, an increase 214,000 increase in jobs but not what was predicted it was about 20 it's only 10 percent out of the actual prediction but it seemed to have a negative reaction to the value of the dollar and the dollar has fallen. Um, people have come back and said very confusing situation etc. So this is a case whereby unemployment rate in the US dropped but because it just seemed like because there wasn't as many jobs created as expected it had a negative effect on the value of the dollar. Um, someone reckons they're building the foundation for quantitative easing for but that's, that's just someone's opinion bull trap uh, get ready to 1.22 this obviously talking about the euro um, so mm, some of that yes no maybe uh, this is another one that says this is why I never trade non-farm payrolls it must destroy so many people's accounts um, so this is just an example that uh, Friday was slightly uh, confusing inconclusive juxtaposition whatever way you want to look at it but you had two conflicting pieces of news so it gives you a good example which is when there's two conflicting pieces of news don't use the news to choose which direction you're going to go in you have to very much rely on the technicals and look at the levels so if we're going to flick over to the chart now we'll give you a quick overview I'm going to give you an overview of the US dollar yen and we'll take it from there so here we are on the monthly chart of the US dollar yen and we can see it's very much in an uptrend easy peasy that we're getting higher highs and higher lows as price is pushing up uh, this movement here very very strong movement upwards uh, part of that was down to the Bank of Japan's quantitative easing of the yen so it devalued its currency causing the US dollar to gain uh, strength against the yen because of that uh, if we go down into a lower time frame now in the weekly chart we can see that previous area of resistance has turned into support here with the wick so these are key points we can also highlight now on the weekly chart another area of previous resistance so this may be a case that with the negative US news that came out price could pull all the way back down to here the 109 so we could take this as an opportunity to buy and go long um, with the opinion that resistance can become support and carry on up if we now go into a lower time frame and we have we can see here MACD starting to pull down on the histogram but price has rallied quite heavily uh, this movement here this big wick this was caused on the not last Friday the Friday before with the Bank of Japan's quantitative easing and then we had a gap up on the Monday so price has started to go a bit sideways consolidate a little bit this is today that's starting to form it's still pushing down um, we had the negative day on Friday because of the US data so we have opportunities we have an opportunity here where price pulled down and rallied out from it may be a case that we use this as an area of support and price then pushes higher it may be a case that price will come down and close this gap here on the other hand it would be very nice to see price come all the way back down to this level so at the moment we need to be looking at opportunities to buy and sell because we might be a case that we take a nice sell order down until price breaks and then wants to carry on up but the predominantly the the main uh, direction that we'd be taking is a buy we're looking at price continuing to rise uh, because of looking at the monthly chart we could see that price is actually in between major levels so uh, this is a major level down here and there's a major level uh, further up at around about the 122 I'm just going to quickly flick back and show you okay so we can see here the other major level is here price is in between this level and this level uh, it's at the 122 so we're at the 114 so we've got around about 800 points where potential price can go before we start to see any serious resistance 
that's from a looking at previous price action but let's go back to the four hour and see if there's anything else we can see from that and we can actually see on the four hour we can see the MACD is declining it's pushing down it's saying it's a short um, but we need to be looking at areas where price may come in for us to be able to take a long so if we look here this is an opportunity to go long here if we look where price is currently at it's that previous area of support which was resistance uh, price from this area did push higher or at least showed to push higher I mean that was a wick so it showed weakness it's now pushed even higher than that this may be a turning point we could see this as a double top position so we want to see whether or not this level here holds it's currently producing a doji on the four hour chart so we have a level here and we have another level where price is currently at surprising enough price has been up there so we have what we're currently at 114.13 and could potentially come down to the 113.3 and if it breaks through that we could come all the way down to the 109.72 but it's got to do a lot to go against the particular direction as the force is pushing up now here so if you look here, price got up to the 102.72 and then pulled back down to the 105.22 before it turned and it rallied. And once it got back up to this previous level, it just went with uh, momentum. It just started to gather and gain very much strong momentum. So what we could do, the easiest way is that what we do is we put a trend line, a counter trend line along this, along the bodies at the top, and we wait for this trend line to get broken. At that point, we then see it as a way in which we go long. On the other hand, we could see this, there's an opportunity here to sell, and the opportunity to sell is if it breaks this area of support here, okay, it breaks below that, then what we look at is we look to sell once it comes, if it pulls back up to it to continue down. So we sell at that point. If, on the other hand, it now breaks this trend line and pushes higher, then that's where we would look to buy. One of those things, it's about don't expect, don't predict anything, just look at what the market does and if it shows strength then you go long, if it shows weakness then you go short. It's as simple as that. It's starting the, the upward momentum is starting to decline, however it's still pushing up. It's got to really take out this low here before we've got confirmation that it wants to go down. Okay, So this, this would be considered to be a bear trap here below here because it's saying look you know if it's gonna break below there you've got all this lack of resistance below it or lack of support shall we say and therefore if we break below the 113.30 price there's the, a very good probability that price could get all the way down to the 109.72 so that would be a very nice trade south However, because of that, it's likely that this level here will be sustained, will be held up, because people will be buying to push price up rather than let it collapse. Okay, so there's just those certain things that you need to be looking at. But there are, because of the negative news on Friday, we've got the opportunity where price has pulled back into this lows, and we could therefore be looking to take longs, buy positions. So look at the opportunities to buy and take it long. Thank you very much for FountainFX. Happy trading. Bye-bye.